Today we're going to talk about how to dress your hourglass body type. I'm going to show you the do's and the don'ts. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. The hourglass body shape is considered to be the most feminine out of all the body shapes and it's the most in proportion. So the shoulders and the hips are equally proportioned and the waist is usually tiny. She comes in many sizes, but the proportions stay the same. Her body type is considered to be sexy, warm, playful, and juicy. And all the other body types are trying to emulate her proportions. The most famous hourglass body type is Marilyn Monroe and she was said to be a size 16 woman with the measurements of 35, 22, 35. Her hips and shoulders measured the same and her waist was tiny. Certainly back in the day women wore corsets to bring the waist in even more and it was said that her waist was smaller than the average woman in those days. And if you're trying to work out whether you're a pair or an hourglass body shape the difference is in the shoulders and the bust size so an hourglass has a wider shoulder and a bigger bust with a wide hip and the pair has bigger hips and thighs with a smaller shoulder and a smaller bust line. That's how you tell the difference. So don't get caught up on whether you're a pair or an hourglass or an inverted triangle or a rectangle just remember the rules, shoulders and hips the same and waist coming in and you're going to nail it. I did a video last week on the sleeves that make your body look amazing. I didn't do the hourglass or the inverted triangle because they have a video all on their own. And as beautiful as the hourglass body shape is, many hourglass women are not always happy because they can't find clothes to fit them. And when I'm shopping with an hourglass lady, they say the same thing. No matter what I try on, it doesn't fit me around the hips and it doesn't fit me in the bust. So the clothes are not great. And I've read that Marilyn Monroe had the same problem. She was unable to find clothes that fit her beautifully. So she used to get everything tailored. And in fact, they used to sew her clothes onto her body when she was doing a shoot and she was always ripping her seams and her zippers. So what looks perfect on camera is not always perfect. And the problems that you may be having with your body type is the same, it's universal. You might find this really interesting. Here's a photo of a group of men. What do you notice? What I notice is the lines and the structure in every single piece of clothing here. Now men do have different body types just like us, but here's the thing, men's clothing is predominantly lines and angles to suit an inverted triangle or a rectangle body shape. And this is what you see on the catwalk, lines and angles and tailoring draping off models who are thin and tall and inverted triangle usually. And when we see them as curvy women, we think, oh, that would look so nice on me. You get it home, you try it on, and it just doesn't fit because it hasn't allowed for all of the curves that we have. Looking at this photo of the men, you'll notice that a woman's curves is what makes a woman so beautiful. It makes us different. So we should be embracing our curves at every minute and never try and hide them because that's what makes us different. That's what makes us women and that's what makes us beautiful. I'm going to show you some examples today of cuts and styles that really flatter the hourglass body type. In fact, every body type can use the principles from this video to suit their own body. All the images that I show you today will be left in the links below and I'm using the average size of a woman over the age of 50 and that's size 16. Let's start with the perfect dresses for an hourglass body type. Okay this is an hourglass body shape so her shoulders and her hips are the same measurement and across here and across here. It's the same. And what makes the hourglass is this little tiny waist. This dress is all one piece. It's under $30 and it's a good one to try if you have an hourglass figure to see if it works for you. And the reason it works is because of the stretch fabric. So what you need with an hourglass figure is the fabric to sit over your curves. And I love this for 
an hourglass because if you have a larger bust and you want to keep it a little bit concealed but still show some skin this is a beautiful neckline and it's showing the collarbone so the sleeves here are perfect and this belt is bringing in the waist if you feel like you've got a little bit of a lump or bump happening you can use shapewear to bring you in but ultimately clothes that have stretch in them are going to suit your body shape and they're going to fit your body shape as opposed to structured clothes and this dress is perfect for an hourglass because it's bringing your whole body in and showing off the waist so look where all the attention's going to your tiny waist and your hips are bigger and your shoulders it's all the same they're all matching and this v-neck here is going to elongate the body and bring the eye down because sometimes an hourglass lady can feel very heavy here's what's amazing about this dress it's wrap around which is great bringing it in at the waist but the neckline is giving length to her body and one of the reasons the hourglass lady has trouble finding clothes to be perfect is this so you can imagine if the size of her bust wasn't defined by a little waist she would look a lot heavier which is going to make her look square so don't hide your curves this is what makes you beautiful show your curves off this is very womanly very beautiful and this kind of drape on the skirt is hiding anything underneath that you don't want everybody to see in contrast to the hourglass body type we've got this beautiful body here which is an apple and she's wearing the same kind of dress and I just want to show you a couple of things that don't work on an apple but work on an hourglass so first of all her sleeves are in a place that's kind of just pulling her down and because the apple body type doesn't have that defined waist and that narrowing in here this kind of dress looks a little bit too full on her and if you're putting on an outfit that just doesn't feel right take a photo of it and have a look and just look at your proportions do your shoulders and your hips look in proportion and does your waist look defined this dress here is also beautiful on an hourglass because it comes in at the waist it suits your body perfectly and comes out over the hips also just below the knee is the perfect place for your hem to stop it's incredibly flattering now we'll look at the perfect top for the hourglass body type and our goal is to bring it in at the waist everything is to minimize the waist and it just makes your shape look so beautiful so this top here is tie at the waist and also look at this length you're getting here which is bringing the eye down a beautiful v-neck to elongate your body and to draw the eye down and a stretchy fabric that's going to just sit over your curves and really enhance your body type and this top here is the opposite so you'll see she has hips and shoulders the same but because she hasn't nipped in here at the waist she looks very square and that's why many of the ladies who are hourglass feel like they can't find anything to fit them and they look a little bit short and heavy and this is why because they're not showing off their curves and they're not elongating their body with a deep v when you're looking for a business shirt here's something to look for see this seam here it's coming in and bringing the eye in towards the waist so that's perfect and this is a curve so you can also undo the buttons a little bit so that you've got a deeper V and these ones here have got a double button here where you may ordinarily gape these sleeves I would roll them up once so that your sleeve finishes on the elbow which is where your waist is and it'll bring more attention to this area the bottom half of an hourglass figure can be the hardest part of you to dress because clothes aren't made for you in particular and it's best to add fabric that has stretch in it because then it's going to fit you all in the right places and not gape anywhere at the waistband so this kind of a skirt is just a stretch skirt it's narrow it's pencil it comes to the knee or just below and it doesn't sit on the hip it sits on the waist something also like this it's got a band here at the waist so bringing 
you in, cinching you in. And then that can just flow over your hips. And if you're feeling like your tummy's too big because you are in menopause and your tummy has grown out of nowhere, this is the perfect option for you. I want to show you something that will really help you with choosing a pair of jeans. And the problem for you is that there's gaping at the back right here where the waistband meets your waist. And that is so frustrating and annoying. So this pair of jeans is tailored to an hourglass body type. Uh, the link for these is in the description below and it really, really tucks in here. And same with this pair of jeans, it's narrow. So when you're buying a pair of jeans, this is what you've got to look for. If these are your hips and this is your waist, the waist of the jeans has to look smaller than the size of the hips. When you hold your jeans up, you'll be able to tell this. So they'll either curve in here at the top like this, or they'll be straight. And many of them are straight. They're not going to fit you. They're not going to look great on you. So this pair of jeans, you can tell it's not for a curvy lady. So when you hold your jeans up, you'll be able to tell if this is going to fit your curvy body. And if not, don't even bother trying them on because you're not going to love them. The hourglass body type looks really great with a boot cut or a skinny jean, but I want to show you something about a wide leg jean to really look out for. And I'll do a whole video on jeans because it's a whole big topic. But let me just show you here to illustrate. So a high rise jean that's curved in here is really going to bring in her waist. You'll be able to see it a lot better and this is all going to be like a corset holding you in, which is lovely. Rather than this cut across a part of your body that isn't the smallest. See, this is the smallest part of her body. So we want all the attention to go here. But in this look, all the attention's going to a wider part. But it would look so much better if the waistband was up here with a higher cut jean. Another thing to know about this kind of jean, so there's a flare, there's a bell bottom on this. But if the flare starts at the knee, like this pair, it doesn't look as good because the tight part can look like two sausages and it's cutting you off at the knee. In essence, you've got two shapes on your leg. You've got a tight circle and then you've got a triangle. So let's avoid that. And what she could do to really make these look better is to start the gentle flare coming from the, the widest part, which is the hip. So if we take it from the hip and we start the flare there and not on the knee, this is going to look so much better if I color this in just to show you. And then this way you've only got the one line. So you'll end up with something like this. The eyes drawing down. It's not confused at all because there's nothing here that's changed. We've got one direction and that's down and only one thing to look at. And we've got a high rise. Be very, very careful of creating different shapes in your legs because it just doesn't look good unless you're really really skinny and really really tall and following along the same lines for your body type for the hourglass body type a coat or a jacket that is cinched in at the waist is going to just make you sing so this is the perfect example the eyes drawn in here and see how this kind of comes out a little bit she has a v in her dress and she's left this part open. Just notice this and these elements and I'm going to show you in the next photo the opposite to that. You would think of this as a similar kind of jacket and it would fit in a similar way but she has a high neckline even though she's got the V here the high neckline is going to bring the focus here which if you're big busted you don't want that. This is all straight and it just looks like too much fabric on her frame. We saw in the other one that this was open and you can imagine if you had this white coming down here it would open her up a little bit and there's a gentle flare on the bottom which is just giving her the most beautiful shape. These are very very subtle differences but if you can understand this you can get it right every single time.
This basic trench is made for the hourglass body type and for a pair as well. So we're bringing the eye in at the waist with a belt. She's got it left open slightly and this is wide and deep. This double V here is the perfect example of how to minimize your bust and accentuate your decolletage. And you'll notice again, see she's come out a little bit and there's a gape here. It's more flattering on your body type than having this square bulky look. You can already see in that, that would make her look a lot heavier. This will work for you too. It's giving you more room to breathe and the tailoring is bringing it in without you really knowing it. Plus this zipper here and here is bringing the eye down and lengthening you. And you've got some detail here at the waist and a little bit of a flare at the bottom here. Remember to wear a tight legged pant on the bottom so you've got a loose top and a tight bottom and that's the rule loose top tight bottom or something tight and fitted up top and then loose on the bottom. If you keep with that rule you'll always get it right. Enjoy your curves because they're what make you different. Be proud of what you've got and a woman who wears her body with confidence and pride is a beautiful woman, no matter what her size is. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to Fabulous 50s if you haven't already, that would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week.